Hey y'all, I'm Deborah, and I'd like to welcome you to my very first floss tube video. And I am super excited to be here and joining the wonderful floss tube community. I have been watching other floss tubers for over a year now, and I've always enjoyed seeing what everyone else is working on and being enabled by them. And I thought, well, maybe somebody might be interested in what I'm stitching on and what I have to share. Um, so I decided to join the bandwagon and here I am. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a disclaimer out right now. I have uh, a cat uh, behind me and she normally would be napping right now, but for some reason she's running around like a crazy kitty and playing with all of her toys behind me. So you may hear her um, making some ruckus. Um, she's probably doing that because she knows I want to make a video. Uh, so I thought that today I would do the popular Know Your Needle Worker tag just so you could get to know me a little bit better and show you what I'm currently working on and the future plan that I have. So let's go ahead and get started with the with the tag. I'm going to be looking down because my phone's down here so I can read the questions. So question number one, where do you live? I live in New York City with my husband. Uh, I am actually originally from North Carolina and I have been living here in New York for the past 21 years. I am a southern girl at heart living in the big city. Question number two, what do you do for a living? I work for a law firm in Midtown Manhattan. I am a project coordinator in the e-discovery management group. Question number three, do you have any children? My husband and I do not have any human children. Uh, going into question number four, do we have any pets? Yes, we do. We have two cats. The first one is Shanna. She is a gray-haired tabby that we adopted from the shelter two years ago. And then our second kitty is Chloe, and we adopted her from our front yard uh, just over a year ago. My husband and I take care of the feral cats in our community, and one, one spring night, she landed in our yard, and she would just cry all the time. So I took it upon myself to spend a weekend with her outside and see if I could socialize her, and after three days... Uh, there was no problem. She was crawling my lap, purring, let me play with her, pet her. And another day after that, we brought her inside. And the rest is history. She is my, my little calico. And she is a chatterbox and a love box. And um, Shanna's not too crazy about her. But, you know, we'll get there. Question number five. What other hobbies do you have besides stitching? Well, besides cross-stitching, I also knit. I scrapbook and I quilt. I come from a very crafty family and uh, I learned at a young age from my mother how to sew clothes and um, I learned how to cross stitch when I was nine, ten years old and I learned how to knit probably 15 years ago. Number Question number six, what is your favorite movie? It's a Wonderful Life. I love this, love this movie. Uh, I watch it every New Year's Eve. And of course I have many other movies. I'm a big movie fanatic. Um, <laughs> I told you, there she is. And she's going on the shelves above me um, to look out the window and probably watch, watch, watch what I'm doing. But for movies, I like all kinds of movies. Harry Potter fan, um, you know, I love romantic comedies, dramas, science fiction, you name it. The only thing I do not do is horror films. I used to when I was a teenager, but, and I have probably watched a few horror movies probably within the past 10 years, but um, it's not my first choice of movies, but yeah. Question number seven, what's your favorite TV show? Ah, uh, well, I only watch TV on Hulu and Netflix, and I have lots of my favorites. Uh, I, I love This Is Us. Uh, I watch Grey's Anatomy. I do Dancing with the Stars. I do a little bit of everything. Question number eight, what is your favorite book? 
Uh, I really can't choose what a favorite book it, of mine is. I mean, I have read a lot in my 20s, 30s, and 40s. Um, I love to read... Uh, hmm, I'm a little bit stumped on this one. I love to read mystery, um, whodunits. Uh, I like to be able to figure it out before the end. Um, and then I'm really happy when I haven't figured it out when I thought I had. I do young adults, I do uh, science fiction, fantasy, um, yeah. Okay, so question number nine, what's your favorite music? I am a teenage girl from the 80s, and so I'm a really into pop music, you know, boy bands, teeny boppers. But I, I do like to listen to a lot of different types. I have done country, I have done classical, I have pop. Um, the only thing I do not listen to is, is, is heavy metal hard rock. And then question number 10, what one word best describes you? Uh, I would say I'm loyal. I am a Leo, and Leos are known for being loyal and committed and um, dedicated. And so that is the end of the tag. So let's go into what I am currently working on. I have a lot of whips. I probably, well, not a lot. I'd probably say I have like 17 whips, 17, 18 whips going. Um, but right now I'm only going to show you what I'm currently actively working on. So the first project I'm working on is Pretty Little San Francisco by Satsuma Street. And let's see, we'll get, figure this out. I have several of her patterns. Um, I, I, I bought all the ones uh, for the places that my husband and I have visited and San Francisco was the very first um, Was the very first I'm laughing because my my little kitty as you can see her ear right there is sitting on top of The stitching that I was just getting ready to show you so give me a moment Okay, I'm back a little intermission there. She didn't want to get off my stitching and then I had to chase her a little bit So we'll see if she comes back So like I was saying I am working on the pretty little San Francisco um, San Francisco is the actual very first um, Trip that my husband and I took when we were dating and so I thought it would be nice to have a little stitch memento of all the Places we visited together. So I have San Francisco, Los Angeles, DC, and then I have Barcelona and the Italy ones. Um, eventually they'll get stitched. But this is where I'm at right now. I've been working on this for past couple of days. Bear with me. And I started this for Stitch Mania. And I only had a little bit of this red bridge part done for Stitch Mania. And I picked this back up last weekend um, when I was watching Helen D. Um, I, I came across her videos and I watched all of her back catalog. And then she's been working on the Pretty Little DC. So that motivated me to pull this back out and work on it. So... Um, I am stitching this one and all the other Pretty Littles uh, by Satsuma on the same fabric. Um, this is 32 count, 32 count Lugana and Autumn Blush by Silk Weaver. Let's see. There. There we go. I'm excited to be working on it. The next project I have been working on is Busy as a Bee by Tiny Modernist. This was also another Stitch Mania start. Um, I only did the first 11 days of Stitch Mania, and the 11th day was my last one before I had to fly home for a family emergency. And I ended up actually taking this project with me because it's... <laughs> 
she's not happy with me. <laughs> when she's not happy, she will shred the tissue box and she'll knock things on the floor. And I think right now she's telling me, mommy, feed me, but it's not dinner time yet. So anyway, uh, so I brought this home with me because it's on a 28 count that I'm working on and um, I don't need to have a magnifier to, to, to work on it. So um, I got quite a bit of progress on, of it, on it when I brought it home and then I have been uh, working on it off and on. Um, I'm trying to get it done. It's, it's not much left. Not much left. Until it's finished. Oh, sorry. We'll get there. We'll get there, y'all. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. This is on a... I wrote down 32 count, but I believe it's a 28 count job when it's um, on Summer Sky by Picture This Plus. And I am almost finished with it. Almost finished with it. I just have to outline the skep, finish the bee, and put the rest of the honeycombs in the one in, in the corner over here, in this corner. There we go. Love it, love it, love it. I really just need to finish it. Okay, so the next project that was also another Mania start is May by the Cricut Collection. And I am just stitching this on a 32 count white job one. And this is where I'm at on on it. Whoops. Okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. I love it. I'm using all DMC. Even for the special threads it calls for, I'm using DMC. And the M is completely done. I've backstitched the flowers. I have a little bit on top of the B skip to finish. And then the A and the Y. Y'all, bear with me. I will get the... It figured out where the camera is. So, there we go. Another one that really is not going to take me too long to finish. I just need to focus on it. Okay, so the next whip I'm working on is Lizzie Kate, I Can Drive a Stick. This was also another mania start, and... Uh, I just picked it back up this week because I thought it would be, with it being Halloween and it uh, being small, that it would be a quick stitch. So this is where I'm at. And when I started this for Mania, I only had the Drive A done. And the witch, the broom, the tree, fence and the ST I, I did the past couple days. Now there's a mistake in this that I need to decide what I want to do because when I went to start the witch um, I counted down from the I when I actually needed to count down from the little end of the D. So this whole thing is over by like five six stitches. So I don't know if I'm going to just add a little something here to make it even with this edge. And I'd have to do it on this side too. Um, or if I'm just going to rip out the drive A, which I'm probably going to rip out the drive A because it's not really going to take that long to, to redo the letters. Okay. 
Um, and this is Picture This Plus 28 Count Lugana Ale. Okay. And the other project I'm working on is I am participating in the Stiach Along. And it's a mystery stitch along for those of you that don't know. Um, and you get a little part of the pattern released every Saturday night. I believe it's for nine weeks. Um, they're doing teams this year, so I'm on a team. And this is where I'm at. I need to finish clue one and clue two. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with it, with my color choices. I agonized over it for a couple weeks, and I narrowed it down to three palettes, and this is what I came up with. There is a fourth color, which will be added. The top part is all done, and I need to finish. The, what's up here will be down here. Um, and don't worry, those numbers will be turning into letters. Pretty sure of that. But yeah, this is on a 32 count Joblin, just a white fabric that I had sitting around. So we'll see where we go with this one. And then the final whip that I'm working on is Bloom Where You're Planted by Brenda Gervais. I absolutely love this. And I actually, when I learned how to cross stitch, I started on Ada, like most people usually do. And probably in my 20s, I uh, tried even weave for the first time. And so I've never done linen. Linen frightened me just a little bit. Um, simply because I've heard horror stories about some linens having a lot of slubs in them and people having a, a very difficult time working with them. But I decided to give linen a chance on this project. So here we are. I am... I have the B and the L started. And... I'm using all the called for colors except for the letters. I'm using Weeks Dye Work and Brick. And I decided to do that because um, Linda Jo from Pretty Southern, when she did hers, uh, she did hers in, in, in Brick. And I just loved how vibrant this color, how rich it was. So I changed that out. And my needle minder is from Mad for Minders, and it is the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, one of my favorites. And uh, the fabric is a 32 count linen by R&R, &R and it's espresso, and I love it. And so now I am buying all the linens. Yeah. So. I'm excited to get this one done. Okay, so that's all of my current whips and uh, works in progress. Um, like I said, I do have quite a few more, uh, but these are the ones I'm currently working on for the past two, three weeks. All right, so let's move into to plans. Now, the only plans I have is to continue to work on the ones I'm showing you, and I might... I might incorporate some of my other whips, but there's one particular uh, project that I want to start for November. When I went to Needleworkers Delight back on October 6th for the Turn, Turn, Turn class, um, I uh, was my first time being in an actual LNS since, um, since I lived in Kentucky when I was in elementary school. So it's been a very long time since I've actually been set foot in an LNS and been able to see all the patterns and the, the threads and the fabrics. So what I did is throughout the class, the class was all day at the store, I, uh, as I wandered around, if a pattern spoke to me, I, I yanked it off the shelf and I put it at the table 
And then I thought about what I really wanted to bring home with me. And this is one of those patterns that I said, uh, yes, get it. you need to come home with me. And it is called <clears throat> Fall into Winter by Ship's Manor. And, oh my word. Look at that. I love everything about this. I love the colors. And that's what's really, really got me were, were the colors. I'm not generally into stitching this kind of style uh, pattern. But this one, I'm like, I had to have it. And so I had to have it on the fabric. I had to have it with the called for threads. And when I left the store that night, I'm like, how do I get my hands on these threads? Because I don't want to do a conversion. And it was as simple as going to the Ships Manor website and ordering them directly from Eric Shipley. And I had everything in my hot little hands within two weeks of ordering. So let me show you. Show you what I got. This is the fabric. It is a 32 count Belfast and it's called Mummy Wraps. And it is just lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And it smells really good. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm losing my lighting. We're having a very, very, very overcast day here. And um, I'm losing my lighting. So I also want to show you the threads. We have. Twisted Oak. We have Early Autumn. Yep, that's accurate. We have Giants Abound which is this gorgeous gold. Uh, uh -huh. We have clear waters, whoops, pardon me, clear waters, which is this beautiful blue. Yep. And then merman, mm-hmm. Yep. Take me to the Caribbean Ocean. Yep. And then finally we have Winter Moon, which this is showing up more like a, it's more blue than, gr than green. It's more green in person. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yep. Yeah, it's more green in person. So these are just going to look, pardon me. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Ah, there we go. And the pattern calls for these two browns, two skeins of them, and everything else, just one skein. But I went ahead and ordered two skeins of everything because I am paranoid of running out. Probably won't, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, so I am, my plan is to start this November 1st, and I want to have it finished by the first day of winter, which is I think December 21st or December 22nd. And when I originally purchased this, I didn't know when I would start it and then it was suggested to me, uh, well, November's perfect to start it because it's fall into winter. 
And I said, okay, sign me up. So I want to start this November 1st. If I can have it finished in November, awesome. But I'm, I'm not going to put the pressure on myself um, to finish it within a month. The It's not that big of a pattern. I believe it's only... It's 112 by 155. So it's not huge. Yep, you'll see more of this. I'm excited. Very, very excited. <clears throat> Take a sip of my water. Okay. So that is everything I have for you today. My plan is to also film a whip parade. Uh, I believe I have right now 17 or 18 current whips and I'd like to go ahead and do a whip parade especially since we're getting so close to the end of the year um just so I can show everything that I, I'm working on and that I will be working on hopefully in the near future and <clears throat> another sip of water um I figured you know let's go into 2019 knowing what's on the plate and what I'm working with. And I do have big plans for 2019. There are several big projects that I wanna start. So I'm probably also going to film a 2019 plan video. So hopefully you guys will be interested in that. If you have any questions for me, please you know, feel free to ask. I'll be happy to answer them. And I hope you enjoyed uh, my video. Um, I certainly love watching everybody else and, and, and seeing what everyone's got uh, on their on their stitching lists um, and seeing what they're adding to the stash. And I'm excited to share what I got going on in my little piece of the world with you guys. So thank you for joining me. I hope you liked it. Um, you know, please give me a comment or subscribe or give me a like. And right now, I don't know if I'll be filming once a week or once every other week. I'm not quite sure what my schedule will be, but I will be back. And to, I look forward to sharing more of my stitching with you guys. So until next time, guys, happy stitching. Bye.